three evil geniuses up against a C deck a gaming uh, we have ourselves an element of aggression plus again a draft which looks very similar to game one until we hit the end of course uh, he actually saw a UI walk across the lane that's the reason why he backed up Universe getting very top close on this top lane. There's the Cogs gonna drag in the slug. Now he's looking for that pounce while PPD removing a lot of his life. He pounces up and away. The rock is still available here from Universe. He'll get vision back on this slug again. And you got Decay in just a moment. In fact, it's back off cooldown again. But with the support coming in from Shiki, they have to back up for some mail. It's a trip spirit down to the facade. Evil Genius is finally, they'll be the ones to spill the first blood. And it'll be on the Visage after an interesting initiation of what's happening with EG on their bot lane, for now at least. But these Iron Shells keep pushing the wave back out again. And now Somali does actually jump in. He goes over on Q with the Flame Guard up. It will be Hex, but he's not in range for the burn. Just back fired up, and then the hook shot from Universe. He wants to finish the job. No rocket available. Somal barely able to escape. Universe with the cogs will buy himself a little bit of space here. He'll have a rocket up in a moment. Even Fear TP didn't try and have some part in that. A level one rocket is not enough to find that kill, and you know, that's, that's not enough. It's, no, it's actually short as well. Middle lane, Samal jumping in again, can't get the searing chains. The stun, the call out from Fear, trying to find more space. Samal couldn't do any more extra damage, but it might open up enough for Fear to get this kill on Gardner's Universe. Actually, Cold forced himself down, and this will be a kill for Fear, but Universe trapped underneath the tier one tower. The kill will come in for Versace with a lighting damage as well from Lestrac. EG severely punished. As again, CDEC bring in reinforcements, and again, we're going now on top, which is PPD. Or build instead of a 303. Yes, you get a lot of damage on the Searing Chains, but hey, the extra 150 tank universe. Hook shot coming in with the battery assault. He's going to try and control the track. No option for a split earth, and now in comes Samal with the extra jump in, but the double stun. Going to keep Universe and Samal back. He wanted to slide a fist and then just get the Searing thing over towards PPD as well as Universe. Actually, going through the tree line try and break the smoke Radiant's while in middle top. lane it's Q and Garda coming in they're looking for the kill on Samal the spirits up and Samal won't have enough life to survive this support's coming in from Universal while CPD they throw down the tombstone and fear it needs to be a big call down and it will be a catch out too the need black burn damage as well Universal dropping very very quickly with the lightnings and the familiar drops there's a double kill for the Lashrak they're looking for more PPD removing a little bit of the life and supports arrived in here. It's aggressive going on fear. It's a triple kill for the Lashrak. And PPD on the run. No stuns for the familiars, but they got some decent damage surging in the slug. He does not pounce the bubble, but there's that iron shot combo with the death bar pack. There's a kill for the slug and CDEX. Momentum is coming their way again. Rotating into mid to gank Shiki, and they're very quick to respond with their own rotation from above. Universal no usage there. Get a hook shot bottom lane, aggressive. Thought he was fine, but EG. They at least get, at least get the consolation prize. Actually, he wants to surge in for the denial, and PPD doesn't want to let him have it. And he won't. Skyrath Mage will take the last hit. Meanwhile, in mid lane, it looks like Garda's coming forward. There's your Hex over on Fear with a slide of fist with chains, not doing any work. Fear just explodes to C deck. And Samel's forced back further. Uh, was LGD giving it to VP, I think? And VP went with Lashrak together with Queen of Pain, and they were like, the way you play a core Lash is that you pick it together with a strong Radiant's carry, so that you have a mix of physical and magical damage, and it's very PPD. hard to choose the focus. That hook shot's down from Universe. The Tombstone's also going to be in the neighborhood, and there's your Skyrath Mage combo. Samal wants to come in and be careful. This guy's walking around with DD with a familiar drop. Perfect timing coming in from Z-Deck. The call down will force CDAC to move back Radiant's behind their tier 2 tower. I don't think they're done yet. Aggressive grounds. Nice cogs from Universe keeping that Slark at bay. The Familiars are still moving inside the Dire Jungle. Unfortunately for him, he's standing right on top of a Dire Sentry Ward. As Samal's gonna walk up, Garda gonna get Searing chained up. He wasn't really ready for this one. Finger of Death is available, but Samal, Spirit Jump forward. There's already a rocket, and the Spirit Jump will allow him to get this last little tick of damage into Garda. And there she goes. There was a Flame Guard doing the work. But the tier 2 tower still drops, quickly just jump in and pop any hero they really want to try and find. Now PPD puts his own Observer Ward down, so both teams having good vision over this bot lane. And Universe pulls shots in, he's able to lock in aggressive, that Blade Mount not even helping him at all! Universe just evaporates! To the CDEC damage and aggression coming in more. Blink forward gets the leash over on Fear. They need more damage. The tombs are trying to help him out. The finger not enough to kill off Fear. Gutter so low. The mech keeping him up until the sun comes in. Actually, he's undying. 
Okay, the last bit of damage, it can cut the shot, we'll sort out the massage, and Samal going in very deep, a double searing chain, moving around, it's EG, Samal picking up a double kill, they move in deeper as well, Q's on the run out here, the slide of fists, they're getting rid of at least one of the familiars, and the TP out from the massage will be successful, there's no more stuns here for EG to use. Down as well, EG finding so many wins out of one fight. And this is an Aegis. Wow, hook shot down, they actually go even deeper. The XZ burns from the Mystic Flare as well as the extra attack. They still lose the T1 Tower to Mail! Huge trouble! He already pops the Aegis. The Mortal with the same time aggressive trying to run himself out of the cooldown. Successful with that Shadow Dance. But again, these familiars, they're gonna lose both of them. That's so critical. Over two minutes. They have two? No, they have one. And a couple of sentries to go with it, but. Mainly looking for aggressive CDC wards that they either countered or just were never placed. Samel is putting some pressure. There's another sentry being placed here. Yeah, he goes scouted out by the Visage, though. He pinged it straight away. They can get rid of this and then the jump in. They find Samel out of position. Tombstone, Solro, Samel needs more time to pick it in the wall. If he needs to go down, Fear trying to do as much damage as he can with the function from Universe. A little bit more control time here. The CDC, they're just so tanky. Visage will at least pop inside the cogs. And that's the gem on the ground. They can move forward and grab it for themselves as Zemail, in comes Lion again for the Suns, trying to combine it with the Familiars. Shiki, real trouble for him, Yul sets the Zuppers guard, cannot help him out, but he's got more help. Aggressive at the front line, but Fia pushing in after Aggressive. They split up the five, Versace took out the Ember Spinner over with those Spirits Aggressive. He'll still go down. They're mopping up the Familiars, the last attack in from Aoi will take care of it. And this is why Sumail got a Scotty. Following him in. Multiple key items coming out on CDC, by the way. They just got a force tap on the lion. They got a BKB on the dark here. And they got Sean, the Oh, he got him! him. Mid pounce! Aggressive real trouble! With a rocket all coming in, homing missile's gonna connect. Can't break free of the stun. The call down will come with a decay. He's able to at least pounce himself away to safety. But they go for more. The slide of fist searing chain catching on XE and aggressive. He's still running himself away inside the channel. It's the back into a four-man wall. EG will still try to trigger one of their BKBs and Shiki. She isolated on the backside. Try to TP out of the cover of a BKB. He'll be successful. In fact, a finger of death ensures the kill on universe. With the spirit jump up, Samel also wants to find his target. Got it back into the lane, aggressive. Waiting it out, he's regenerating up, ready to come in. Fears it's in the path to freedom right now. He's gonna get locked in, aggressive. Where's your damage? It's all there. He's stealing the essence of fear out of him. The Aegis C model will trigger, but Samal's still here with the familiars coming in. The Suns are back off cooldown, so they can keep fear locked. They go back in again. The Mystic Flash trying to buy some smoke with the flag back in. Gata, he's burning right now. The shield of Samal. While the battle's still going on the back lines, fear needs more help. Can't find it though. He's gonna pop. They might get these steering chains, but Samal will hit the deck. Started fisting around, they need to bring him down, they're going to, slowing him down and it will be enough. The fight goes the way of CDEC. PPT was trying to come back to help, but it was all too late. And what a fight. Huge advantage and now the force. The first. That observer was still down though. The smoke might break, but you're right, Gunner is a long, long way in the back. The smoke's actually going to break here for EG. Universe hook shots up with the battery of Sony. He'll be out of control. Gunner on Samal jumps further down. Universe four stops up, and Gunner can't do anything about it. If he turned around to attack, and the blade would have just killed him anyway, the undying minions doing their work. Overward on the cliffside, just behind Roshan. So AUI is very visible, including Universe. His positioning yeah. is very well known. They're taking too long. Yep, EG they're not going to get here in free. time. This is Roshan, Aegis, the model, and the end of Samalash is giving the cheese into his hands. It's Jairo with the Aegis, an aggressive, locked inside the, the back, he's got him on the wall again! But then again, he just turns on the damage with the call down, they're trying to escape, they have to get him off the hillside. Where are these four stops? Samal is down, there's a four star from AUI. They're out. The Lion, the only casualty during that fight, but the rest of CDEC are trying to bail out of here. It's over on the Ember having this cheese available. Absolutely, you take the tier twos. Yeah. Sure. I think they go bottom as well. Or maybe even top and try to get both towers there. Oh, maybe even look for a fight as he is in trouble. He'll let the call down go, but there's your Abyssal Blade. It's still not going to stop the from pumping out a little bit more of this damage. They need the BKB to wear off so they can force off him down the cliff lane, but it's not going to happen. Aggressive just keeps fighting and Garda, they've actually isolated him with a double zone. So that was supposed to be BPD. Actually, keeping him out of the Aegis Demon is triggered right now, but Samal, Slide of Fist, he needs more units to actually get the bounce off. Fear, dying to familiars, aggressive, they need more help, Mystic Flash coming in from AUI! 
Joseph still alive until the orb is chasing him up. He should be able to buy this with a blink away. He's buying time to regenerate while PPD battling up against the rest of the familiar. Oh, the oh sun God, comes down. The Glim Cape will keep him alive. AUI will re the gem now. They can't get rid of these familiars. And Samael, well, he doesn't really want to fight either. He does have the cheese available, but they burned the Aegis and they lost the Gyro. These fights are so So CDC, they know that hook shot's gonna be on cooldown for another 23 seconds. Familiar's preparing to come in from the side. Fear, remember he's got that BKB. And samel has got that Lincoln Sphere up and running, so the initial attack won't be as easy. And in fact, Slider Fist trying to keep him back. In comes Aggressor, triggers the BKB. PPD already with the Tombstone down. They may not have enough of an opening. In fact, maybe they will. They found Aggressor blocked inside the cogs while over on the side. Fear is keeping the Versace out. And then the back, trying to go over the wall. They get it perfectly. When Shiki pops over, they need more damage. Samael gets a Slider Fist off. He's so low on life. But now, a little bit more. They can't even get him out. There's more damage coming in with a crack. So low on life, aggressive turns to the fight, going on fear, the Suns are there, PPD back to front line, trying to remove that life away from the slug, and they keep going, the seal is on him, he can't pounce away, they lock him inside the cops, aggressive is down, huge kill, Shiki no longer hiding in the trees, it's not safe there. The line is back to face, and so is XT. A huge fight for EG. An invitation to force buybacks here from CDC. If they can push into the tier three piece. That cheese on fear. Perfect timing using that. And CDC will have to buy back one, if not even two heroes, if they want to hold this lane. They're buying Shiki back for now. They don't want to have to slark, though. And Shiki already getting concussive shot at XZ. The back will come. They look for the sun and only connects over on fear while Universe pushing aggressive back. The cops are keeping him out while the side of Fist goes again from Samel. Defenses through jump and they're all trying to TP out. They got the double buybacks. That's what they're looking for. And aggressive. Abyssal Blade is still available. Blink Dagger off cooldown. And in fact, Samel up in the air with the Ulster. Blink is feeling trigger, but Samel, he's gonna go down. CDEC, they get something back for their buybacks. In the meantime, middle lane, there's no tier three tower here. The Kree Ray pushed in. But not where they really want to. They need to get up. Aggressive is starting to run away from his team. Oh, he could lose the side. Catch. The Courier's coming in with the rest of the side. It's so close to the shroud. He missed the hook shot in. They need that Courier dead right now. It's on the run out. And actually, he doesn't even want to turn to pick up the side. Now he'll turn around. Okay, that's just free gold that they're not taking. But they move up. There's your searing chains over on the shroud. BKBs from both. As aggressive also jumps in. Looking for the BK, the uh, Bissel by Trigger and Universe. Hook shots up. Pushes the slug back. There's no BKB, but Shadow Dance is available. The two will split this fight up. If CDC want to come in through the rear, but now they're running over to the dire side of the jungle. Chasing in, Samel right behind him. Has a blink dagger off called it. Another hook shot gonna go to work. They find their opening. It's the lion down. Q also being thrown down for that concussive shot. Locked inside the cogs in the middle of the river. He needs a path to bring him. It just doesn't exist. It's Samel. He even goes in deep on the back of Chicken. Some will be available. They back him back in. There's a little bit of spirits available. Slide of fist. And maybe there is enough damage. Aggressive. Siri chained up. They need the damage. Fast up. Away, aggressive, no space to live. X is in huge trouble. Try and run himself out of the cox. Ball stopped out of it. And this is real trouble right now for CDEC. Dicky dead in the tree line as well. There are no buybacks available. Lion, the sole survivor. The only thing that is stopping this game right now is a creepway pushing the tier 4 tower up the tier 3 tower in the bottom lane. But that's no real problem. Del Spirit jump back out. And EG, they are coming for the mid lane. They should be able to at least mega <laughs> right now. They have a full minute on three cores on the enemy team. And what's really important about that fight for EG is the way they initiate, the way they flank. They move in from two different directions. Darkseer is never able to really find the vacuum wall. As a matter of fact, he probably holds the wall too long there and ends up getting a, a pretty mediocre one when the fight is over. Lion never gets a spell off, gets killed They're going way too for the early. GG push. They're actually just going straight for the GG push. They want CD to admit defeat and they get it. EG will for one game up in the TR5 Grand Final. CDEX might have had a very convincing performance in game two. The EG hit back in a terrific display from both CDEX as well as EG. Wonderful donor all round. This is probably one of the best games of the tournament so far. It's, it closes in on almost an hour. So many small.